In this video, you are going to learn how to create this text reveal on scroll with Framer without writing a single line of code. This is an effect that Apple also really likes to use on their websites. And yeah, we're going to be able to create this without a single line of code, which is quite amazing. So my name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So here we are in Framer and as you can see we have a little document set up right here but don't worry because I'm gonna give you a remix link for this file so you can you know take a look at it and create it with me as I'm doing it here in this tutorial with you. So yeah we have this uh, desktop breakpoint here and we have a hero section, a main section here in the middle. We're gonna be working with this main section here. And then we have a footer with a little remix button. So yeah, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click into the main section here and we're gonna create a text layer here. So basically I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard, draw a text box here and type out the text that we're gonna be using here. Okay, so now we have this text here. We can adjust the text size. I'm gonna use 56. And we can then set a width here, maybe 780, and then the height will be fit content. Maybe we can have a little bit smaller width, maybe 720. Uh, that's a bit bigger, <laughs> 720. Okay, so this is looking really nice. So now we can turn this text layer into a component by pressing Option Command K on our keyboard. We're gonna call this text. And here, the first variant will be called one. And we're going to basically uh, select the text here, remove the variable from the content property, because that's the only way we can change the colors here. And basically the highlighted uh, part will be the first sentence here. So the rest will be uh, having a different color here. Then I'm going to click variant here to add another variant, which will be called two. And here I'm going to basically change the highlighted part. So this will be gray here and this will be white. And then we can create the next variant, which will be the last variant. And this middle part will be basically gray. And then the last part will be white. So now we have this component with three variants, each having a different highlighted part. And now we can go back to the home and set this text to sticky positioning and set the top value to, to 30. So this basically means that this here will be sticking to the top of the viewport until we reach the end of its parent section or parent frame, which is basically the main. And as you can see, it is quite a long container with more than 1,800 pixels. So as you can see, if I preview it now and scroll down, you can see that as I scroll more, it's just sticking to the top of the viewport uh, with that top value of 230 here. So as you can see, this is 230 pixels here. And then when we reach the end of the main section, it just scrolls away. So now that we have this, we can actually talk about a thing that I almost forgot to tell you. And that's the fact that we have to set these uh, frames to overflow visible. So in order to sticky positioning to work, we have to set all parent frames overflows to visible. So that includes the main, as you can see, it is overflow visible and also the desktop, which is again overflow visible. So now we have this, the text is sticking to the top of the viewport as we are scrolling in the main container. But how do we actually change the highlighted parts? For that, we can use scroll variants with scroll sections. So first, we're gonna create uh, trigger frames by just you know creating these little uh, lines here. I'm gonna set their width to fill and this will be called one and then I'm gonna duplicate it, this will be called two. I'm gonna also change the color, but this doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna click one and then go to the right panel, scroll section, and this will have the name two. 
and then I'm going to do the same here, but this is going to have scroll section three. So now we have scroll section two and three. I'm going to also change their names to two and three just to make it a bit more consistent. So what we can do now is we can go to the component and apply the effect that is scroll variant. So this will have the section in view trigger, the viewport will be in the middle and we're going to choose a section here, which is section two. So what we are seeing here that when we reach the section two, so the section two comes into viewport, we change the variant of this component to the second variant and we add another section, which will be three. So when the three comes into viewport, we change the variant to the third variant. So if we take a look at this, as you can see, as I'm scrolling here and as these frames come into the view, you can see that the variants also change. So basically all we have left to do is to select these trigger frames and just simply hide them by setting opacity to zero. So now as you can see, as I'm scrolling here, the text is sticking to the top of the viewport. So basically it's stopping. And as I scroll further, the highlighted part of the text changes. And then here we are at the footer. So basically that's the effect. That's how easy it is to create a new framer without writing a single line of code. So that's it for this video. Make sure to go to framer.university to find more free resources for Framer. And yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you in the next one.